Um, dermatology represented all the aspects of medicine that I really enjoyed. I liked seeing children, I liked seeing adults, I liked seeing adolescents. I liked doing medicine, but I also liked doing surgery. I did not like doing OB, so this field incorporated everything I wanted uh, within a field, and it was also very rapid paced, which I also enjoyed. I think the gratification that at the end of the day that you've helped a number of people and it's been very interesting, particularly in an academic setting, you don't get a lot of redundancy with what you see and you get very challenging cases. I think the perception is that dermatology is predominantly a cosmetic field, but when you're in my particular setting you get to see an awful lot of very challenging medical and surgical cases and you're often having a partnership with radiation oncology. Um, with our, you know, general surgeons for node biopsies and working a lot with um, just regular oncology to manage melanoma patients and lymphoma patients. And so that's very gratifying to have the, the collegiality and, of course, the teaching aspect of it all. Well, dermatology is a pretty competitive specialty, so um, it's not that we can't get most people in. I've been very fortunate, I think, that in any student that's ever wanted to go into this field, uh, we've been able to get them into it. It may have taken us a little longer, a little uh, more circuitous route, but almost everybody's gotten in. Um, but above and beyond the well-rounded background and the ability to really relate to patients well, because you're going to see a lot in a day, is just a general um, good-natured sense of humor, uh, team spirit. Derm programs are very small, and you may be one of two people that's in your year for residency. And um, what people want to see is somebody who's very, very positive and gets on well with others. Because if you have one resident out of three that's a real stinker, it's going to make for a miserable three-year residency. So. That's a real joy in dermatology. I still um, do offer call services for Northwest Ohio, but I very rarely get called. So at the end of my day, apart from taking charting home, um, I'm pretty much done. I don't have crazy hours. They're pretty set. Um, and it's just been a real joy, and it's been a very amenable field for having a family and social life. I think right now I'm looking at the potential for the proportioning of health care. We already see that there are a number of medications out there that we would like to try that are newer agents or more convenient agents, but they are more expensive. They tend to be branded and just getting the insurance approval. And when you're seeing, you know, 30, 40, 50 patients a day, um, having to sit down and deal with insurance prior authorizations and dealing with that volume of paperwork that is associated with that, and I think it's going to get nothing but worse. Uh, even ten years ago, procedures that used to be covered are now considered cosmetic, and trying to explain to the patients that you can't remove that because it's not harmful, even though they don't like it, or you can't treat that unless they're willing to pay for the medications themselves, that's becoming more and more challenging. I think uh, in surveys years ago, they said the most contented physicians were those that had entered dermatology, and I tend to agree with those statistics. I think it's just a wonderful field, and um, if you're willing to embrace the medical aspects of it and not just want to sit back and punch a clock and turn out a uh, you know, bunch of the same thing every day, you'll, you'll really be very satisfied.